Buenos dias, Filipinas! This is Hello, Filipinas! I'm Geometric Tomato, live broadcasting live from Cool FM. Mapapakul ka dito, along with Aspir. Good day, Aspir. How Good day! Good day to everyone, and hello to our viewers out there. Welcome to our very first edition of Hello, Filipinas! We are live right now on Cool FM, and we are heard on HD1, HD2, and we are also seen right now on TBH Network's YouTube channel. Good day, Aspir, and as part of our revamp of our Cool News department, we will also have a new segment dedicated to Cool News later on after we announce things. For the first time ever, we'll start the headlines as we will have an interview with PNR, with random stuff. Meanwhile, we will also have in, we will also have opinions about whatever is going on right now in the country. And lastly, our thoughts about the new Cool FM lineup. Today okay, marks our first day, and of course, of course, we have. You know, sometimes it's a very, very. You know, very trafficful day today because you know every every everywhere uh, there is traffic. So today we will also ha we will have an interview with Fox Whistler, a uh, uh, Fox Whistle, nine two six two, about the public transportation within the country. Let's have him here right now. Good day and let's have a good. Let's have a interview between him about the PNR and its tough operations. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Fox. Hello. Hello and good morning. Thank you for inviting me to this wonderful show. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak with you guys. Yes. All right. Uh, how is your day? How is your day? By the way, how is your day? I'm doing good. I'm recovering from my sickness. I am fortunate enough that I am able to attend your show this morning as I've been waiting for its premiere. All right. What was what is the PNR and how does it affect our normal living? Because as you know the because as we know we live because I am myself I live very down south whilst I know some of you might live in the metro. Uh, what is the benefits of the PNR having existence? Okay, so the Philippine National Railways is the oldest railway company in the Philippines as it is state operated, means it is operated by our national government. It is subsidized by our national government. It is run using the money given from the government. It serves uh, train, different train services in Metro Manila as well as down in the south in Lucena, Quezon and as well in parts of the Bicol region. So it's connecting between the southern, between southern Luzon. Is it correct? Connect yes. South Luzon from the the Historically speaking, the Philippine National Railways used to have a 1,000 kilometer long railway line system, which stretches from San Fernando La Union in the north in northern Luzon, all the way to the south in Legazpi City, Albay in Bicol. All right. In how was it maintained during the colonial periods? Because as you know, trains were primarily, because you know, in the colonial period, who knows what the local government did in the East Indies back then. Uh, how was it uh, funded and who introduced the project here? The Philippine National Railways was first conceptualized as a Ferrocarril de Manila at Agupan, a project um, ordered by the King of Spain. I think it was King Philip. I forgot the name of the king. Um, he ordered the Philippines, the, his, official in the, his officials in the Philippines, to build a railway line system that connects Manila and Dagupan in Luzon. Mm -hmm. uh... And now let's have the American era now. So what were the improvements of the American era to the railway? And in what significance? How does it how did it 
improve. The Americans, uh, they, they helped build the new line connecting Manila down to the south in Bicol with the partnership of the Philippine government. This is to help commuters to travel from Manila to Bicol in just 10 hours. And that was the last of the efforts by the American government and then later the Philippine Commonwealth and then the Philippine government later on. Is it yes, during, during that time, um, I believe that the, the Philippine National Railways during the American period was called the Manila Railroad Company or MRR Co. It was a kind of a private company that operates the railway lines from Manila to San Fernando La Union and Manila to Legaspi in Albay Bicol. Were there any other plans after the expansion and after the completion of each of the line, lines and improvements in there? Were there any further efforts by the then Commonwealth and then the later the Philippine government? Um, the government had many attempts into in redeveloping the Philippine National Railways, especially after the war, since the Philippine National Railways has been heavily affected by the damages brought by the World War II. Good thing that the Americans were there and they tried to help. Even Japan, they helped us um, revitalize our railway networks by uh, manufacturing trains for us during the 50s. How about in the modern day? I mean, before the modern day, let's have the the, the third Philippine, the third Philippine Republic era. Now, that was the remnants of the government. That that was in the 1936 Constitution government. Now, as far as I know, so far the railways were destroyed during the war. However, I've, however, I I still have a question, and that is, what were was everything rebuilt or was it partially still in repair even to this day there were some lines that close to the public that example is the PN, the MRR Cavite line historically we the Philippine National Railways used to have a railway line that connects Paco Manila all the way to Naik in Cavite but uh, but during the Commonwealth era um, they decided to close it down. For what reason? I think it's due to the lack of maintenance and damage or, or damage because of the war. All right. Now let's start with the Marcos era. Now, again, there were still. Are there any significant improvements there in the railway or? Are there any significant incidents within the railway? Before the Marcos administration came into office, um, the railway company, which used to be called the Manila Railway Company, was later renamed as the Philippine National Railways in June 1964 uh, by virtue of the Republic Act Number 4156. Mm -hmm. Were there any government efforts to possibly nationalize the railway actually yes but right now up until today the philippine national railways is still based on the luzon island however they do have the power to build railway lines in Visayas and mindanao and for some reason up until today they're still focused here in luzon mm -hmm. all right let's stop let's start with the stop operations what are the major stop operations within the pnr Okay, so earlier I have mentioned that there are different train services that is being offered by the Philippine National Railways to the riding public. And there used to be train services here in Metro Manila. This includes the Tutuban Alabang route, the Tutuban Governor Pascual and Governor Pascual to Bicotan routes. These were the routes that have been affected by the stop operations of the Philippine National Railways. Mm -hmm. And... Are there uh, any more? The reason why the Philippine National Railways um, decided to stop the operations is to prioritize and give way for the massive construction of the 147-kilometer North-South Commuter Railway Project. The North-South Commuter Railway Project 
it's a it's a official development assistance fund project financed by the Japanese government and the Asian Development Bank. The North South Commuter Railway connects Clark in Pampanga all the way to Kalamba in Laguna. Travel time will be shortened from four hours to just two hours end to end. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, as we know that now we have known the information. Thank you very much, sir. Do you have any more fun facts about our transportation in here in the country? Thank you very much as well. Well, as a member of the Roblox group called Metro South Commuter Railway, and as a proud rail fan and train enthusiast, I encourage everyone to support our railway systems, our railway lines, by riding the trains. This is a very good alternate solution to beat the heavy traffic in the metro. Um, this has been proven and has been a big help to all the commuters who want to bypass the heavy traffic in our roads, save time and money for the purpose of uh, feeling the convenience of travel. All right. all right, so another question I have is how do you deal with the... Um, I know that public transportation, as as you know, it's not being utilized to its fullest potential. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that in the metro? People tend to prefer cars, jeeps, uh, tend, tend to use cars rather than using public transport. Like, we all get it. Tran public transport is more reliable. However, why is that the people in metro prefer cars? for a mode of transportation, even though they are contributing to the intense traffic and congestion in the metro? It's probably because due to the lack of inter uh, interested investors that would invest in our railway sector. Unfortunately, um, during, during the Duterte administration, there has been uh, big efforts by the government to revitalize and prioritize our railway projects. This includes the revitalization of the Philippine National Railways and the prioritization of the North-South Commuter Railway System project. Um, during the Duterte administration as well, uh, they also introduced some other railway projects um, located across the country, one of which is in Mindanao, which is the Mindanao Railway Project. For now, there has been um, some issues encountered, but I hope that the government will resolve it and still push through the project. We hope we we hope that it actually passes through because myself, being from the very down from the Tuna capital, we believe that this mode of transportation is very, very much a good alternative. And compared to a bus, which will take a very long time, especially because. You know, the roads between Davao and say Jensen are very mountainous and very hilly and prone to landslides. So this solution is surprisingly a very good alternative. And I believe that hopefully the government should fix these issues remaining with the project within the Mindanao. Anyways, thank you very much, sir, for giving us the information that we absolutely need. And hopefully we can see you next time. Who knows? <laughs> thank you very much for having me here. And thank you very much for giving me, again, the opportunity to speak with you guys and oh, inform your viewers about the current state of our public transportation, including the recent happenings with the Philippine National Railways. Thank you. Now, before, well, yeah, that, you're welcome, man. before that, do you have anything to promote? Before you oh have... yes, um, I would like to promote, even though our community is still closed at the moment, um, we would like to promote the, our little Roblox community called the Metro South Commuter Railway Game. It's a railway game based on the Philippine National Railways. Even though the Philippine National Railways in real life have stopped its operations in Metro Manila, we in the Metro South Commuter Railway Group will still continue to give train services to all the Filipino Roblocians out there. Just stay tuned. I'll give updates to the Yeo Lambo server. I can't pronounce. 
to the Alamo server eh, when we will open again the Metro South Commuter Railway game. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you soon. See you soon. And yes, yes, all right, next we'll have our full news with Aspir and again myself. And later on, we will have opinions. We'll be right back after a short break. Stay tuned. We'll be right. We'll be back on Cool News. Let's start the broadcast right here, right now. As we know, let's start with the first from with another headline. Elon Musk says Tesla will unveil new robot taxis in August, five years after promising a self-driving fleet. Billionaire mogul and Tesla CEO Elon Musk, aka the and also the CEO X or Twitter, announced that his company's long-rumored fully automated taxi service will arrive this summer. Tesla Robotaxi unveiled in a was posted on a social media platform X or Twitter for many people, which, which as you know, Musk has bought for 44 billion in 2022. The announcement comes amid swell, amid swelling customer dissatisfaction with the rollout of Tesla. Tesla's futuristic looking new electronic uh, electric vehicle or EV, the Cybertruck, which has faced numerous safety and performance complaints from early adopters and fans. But Musk also made similar robo taxi promises five years ago this month at the Tesla's Investors Day in EV makers Palo Alto, California headquarters. Musk told investors that in 2019 event that he was very confident Tesla would have its autonomous robo taxis on the road as soon as next year 2020. The billionaire tech mogul then showed off a Tesla ride sharing app. Tesla said uh, Tesla or as you know Musk had said that Tesla has been developing full self-driving technology in 2016 with the idea of launching a ride share service. It would operate by reclaiming lease Model 3s from consumers and once their contract expires then repurposing the vehicles for ride sharing service. In doing so, Tesla believes it can quickly scale the number of robo taxis it has in the road to approximately 1 million in operation by 2020, as Musk said in 2019. Musk compared the Tesla network to a combination between an Uber and Airbnb. The company would take about 25 and 30 percent of revenue generated per ride in the Tesla network, he said. Musk Friday's announcement by a social media followed a ruthless expose revealing the billionaire has overridden those in Tesla's design team who had previously convinced him to develop a more economical EV at 25,000 price point. The half the price uh, electric car is due to go into production sorry, next year, viewed by investors as a saving grace that could rescue the struggling automaker. Asphere, do you have any headlines? Um, yes, but it's another tech news. Okay, so here we go again. This grace high message on Android can't take the hint. It's back for more. Will you download Sunbirds app? Oh boy. Remember the whole nothing chats debacle from last year? It was an app built on top of Sunbird, Sunbirds app. Architecture, which had so many flows, nothing, nothing chats, and Sunbird's own messaging app were taken down from the Google Play Store. Well, Sunbird is back, and hope, hoping users will forget the past and will give it a second chance. Through a press release, Sunbird announced it plans to relaunch its beta iMessage for Android app. The company says it is sending out invitations to those on its waitlist and small Oasis starting today. Sunbird was launched in 2022, promising to bring iMessage, iMessage compatibility to Android. It claimed to provide end-to-end -end encryption and iMessage features while not collecting users' data. However, it was quickly discovered that the software was woefully insecure and not as private as advised. 
The company subsequently announced it would temporarily shut the service down as it investigates the security issues that were brought up. In a blog post also published today, Sunbird acknowledges the security vulnerabilities it was called out for. However, it claims some of the allegations were incorrect and denies that it ever used the Blue Bubbles app as part of the infrastructure. The company adds it, that it has swapped out its old architecture, AV1, that leveraged Firestore for temporarily storing messages with the new architecture, AV2. This new architecture integrates RCS and is said to have user privacy as a central tenant. Sun, Sunbird further states that with AV2, un encrypted messages are never stored anywhere on disk or in database. When messages are decrypted to be passed to the iMessage in RCS slash Google Messages Network, they, is, they exist in that state only within memory for a limited period of time. In a front-end front -end app, messages are only stored in an encrypted state within the in-app database. Static files transmitted through the service are stored in secure cloud storage brackets that are encrypted in transit and at rest. They are protected through permissioned URLs that, that prevent unauthorized access and are completely expunged from the Sunbird systems no later than 48 hours after sending or receiving them. All communications from the Sunbird app to the Sunbird API is protected at the transport layer, either through HTTPS or the MQTTS protocol. The MQTTS broker is secured via strict access control list to ensure that users are only able to access broker topics specifically designed, I mean, assigned to them and no others. Further, the contents on the, of the message payload itself is encrypted at the application layer using AES encryption with an encryption key controlled completely by the client and only held in memory on the Sunbird site. Messages flow through the Sunbird system in an encrypted state are only decrypted in memory at the moment of transfer of messages to the native pl messaging platform. Something strange that sticks there out here is that near the end of the block, the company mentions it has brought Jared, uh, Jared uh, Jordan as on as a former, I mean, as a for, uh, former uh, advisor. It's, it says that J Jordan is currently director of engineering within the Gmail team at Google. However, Jordan's link in page says he left Google in March and is currently working at Capital One. It's good to see that Sunbird has seemingly taken measures to improve privacy and security, but it's still probably safe to say that you shouldn't trust any iMessage for Android app. So would you rather trust iMessage for iMessage for Android app? Mm, probably not. All right, back to you, Gio. I'll be back with more headlights later. Thank you, Akhir. And also, mga kaibigan, last night, or actually yesterday, there was an earthquake. That's right, earthquake. An earthquake in northeast, in north New, New Jersey, which actually became trending in Twitter as reports of earthquakes within New York were reported. A magnitude 4.8 earthquake has struck northern New Jersey. However, no damages, injuries, or anything were reported. It is, no, it is located in Middlesex and Hunterdon counties in New Jersey as of 10.23 p.m. Philippine Standard Time. And side note, of course, we also have updates about the Taiwan earthquake. Now, the Taiwan earthquake that struck at uh, the, the Taiwan earthquake, which struck two days ago, has killed nine and injured two thousand. Two thousand, I believe. No, yeah, two thousand. Taiwan's strongest earthquake in twenty-five years has killed nine and injured a hundred. Oh, it's hundreds. My bad. The magnitude 7.4 earthquake was followed by more than 200 aftershocks. Dozens of people were trapped and two buildings of the city in the city of Kualen teetered profusely. For God's sake, guys, I can't even read the entire article from the New York Times because apparently you have to pay. You have to pay for for a fucking article jesus christ it's, a, it's what it's what do we expect right it's a paywall it's a hold on yeah i don't know but it's a paywall website what do we expect uh, yeah what do you what do you even um it, the old articles of um, manila 
uh, sorry, Manila Times, the <laughs> the quite mixed up new news um, platform. Does they they do have a uh, uh, paywall on the old articles? Pay to read. This is exactly what. Who the hell paid for reading? I mean, sure for books, it's okay. It's okay if for books, <laughs> but online, bro, right. you have to pay for some article. I know, right? Oh my god, bro, article. <laughs> I don't More know, but man. <laughs> But you know there is a but you know there is um yeah the earthquake in Taiwan was very very tragic and the fears of a tsunami that uh, you know there's a tsunami warning back then which is which is very 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 alarming alarm yeah very alarming especially within Batanes and Northern Luzon because you know it's a magnitude 7.4 it, 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 it's literally strong i mean the last time we had that magnet the last time we had that kind of magnitude was probably the was probably like for a long time maybe in mindanao there is like a the the cotabato earthquakes the cotabato sea earthquakes rather like it's mm. very strong it's very strong it's very very strong Anyways, everyone, we will continue our headlines later on. But for the meantime, you will have a talk. Because today is opinions time. And as you know, let's start with the first opinion of the day. Now, the opinion of the day is... I'm trying to find something that is not controversial. I'm trying not to do politics, too. I'm trying to know. At the same time, I'm trying to make it very interesting. Oh yeah, let's talk about TCP sexuals and noodles. Woo! Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah. How about showbiz news? Showbiz news. Showbiz well, yeah, sure. Showbiz we can. Useless. We can. <laughs> we can do that too. All right. Okay. Showbiz useless. No need for showbiz news. Showbiz for. Useless only because I, the only relevant thing is just Showtime airing on oh, GMA. That's, that's only it. the that's that's only relevant thing. That's it. That's it. Oh, and and showbiz in America is even worse right now. It's hard, like it's hard to 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 share it here. Oh, please. Conf, conflicts very sensitive, but not surprised. Um, too much um, break, too much break cause or something. Let's keep the good vibes here. Oh. Anyway, Papa uh, Bean uh, channel is airing Mr. Bean. Yay! I, wow! I nice. very, this is a, it's a very classic. The classic. Very classic. The OG. Know, what, 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 Mr. Bean? Is it an animated series? No, it's the No, no, no. This, this is the original. This is the original Mr. Bean. Okay. Uh, okay. Ro, Ro, the nice. British. The, the goofy Rowan Atkinson himself. It's more ah, yeah. Original since it's real life. It really is goofy because it's real life. Every reaction, Mr. B is literally unpredictable. It ain't no way. Now, anyways, hello, Filipinas. As we know, we actually launched this show as part of a programming lineup change. Now, the reason why we in now the reason why we actually plan to launch this show in the morning is believe. It's actually just because we want to make. It's because we want to monopolize on the morning in this, the morning show. Because, wala man nagmo morning show sa sa weekend, so why not take advantage of such? So smart. Uh huh. Yes. And besides, no one's gonna compete with us anyway. Kaya lugi na kayo, MBN lugi na kayo ay wala na. Wala na. What? What? What if I uh, know? What if uh, success at television, but in the morning edition? That joke, lang. I, I think it's um, another season, pa yun, di ba? Or I don't know. He can't say that. I, as far as I know, Testigo is the success at television. Skull. Yeah. 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 Natu- yeah. Ne 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 ne. Okay, lang guys. Kung natutulog mang kayo sa sa suppose mo na final episode ng ano, it's okay because remember. 
kami ay isang indie radio station. Kami po ay tao lamang. Hindi kami kumpanya na walang kwen na walang kwenta na gustong gusto gawin ng lahat para makapera lang. Hindi po kami si Emma Rosales. Ay sorry. <laughs> Mga itasyas lang kami. Ano, so if you're If you're new here to the um, to the TVH network to the to the Cool FM, ma itit mga and at nakatong na kami na magos na mag na magreto. We are only enthusiasts, hindi po kami professionals. Enthusiasts po kami sa yung yung mahilig manood ng TV and radio, and we happen to imitate them. Oh, ganon talaga yan. Kasi alam niyo mga kaibigan, tao lam po kami, hindi kami animal. Mm. Okay. Hindi kami animal na ine-exploit lang ng kumpanya. No, no, no. That's not we not we are. We are just human. We just doing this for for the shits and giggles, 'di ba? Ikaw nga. Yeah. Huh. And, and besides, kami naman din napapagod. Ako nga napupuyat na ako. Para lang maka first episode lang tayo. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a role play. This is TVH is a role play. I I find my dad breaks a lot role play. Everyone is doing role play. Tapos yung isa, tapos yung tapos yung isa Netflix Jan, you who loves anime all day and all night, he takes it to the to the next level as if he makes profit of it at the age of thirteen and watches hentai. Damn. Yeah. Hirap ang ating interviewer daw sabi daw na hirap ang siya pagpronounce ng yo. Yo kasi yon yo hindi yo 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 yeah hindi siya yo oh it's yo is the anime question is the anime channel in question to shin zero ulo ka ba Toshin is uh, is the is the it Toshin is owned by Ryuko Arakawa. Toshin na yan pre. Toshin na yun Toshin na yan. Adverse pa adverse pa rin malakas. Japan Central malakas. Let's go. Anniversary pa rin at in real life anyone at Muse Asia pa rin. Pero yeah, fuck Toshin. Toshin purong bold yun dun ni. Eh. As far as I know, may na. Na puro kwan. Hindi mo lang, hindi nyo lang alam yung mga crazy shit ni Rico noon. Kaya mamaya guys, oh, i-explore natin si Rico. Biro, biro lang, biro lang, biro lang. Pero ika nga, totoo nga, eh, it's a very, 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 very long story kung bakit kami nagka-issue ni Rico. Pero huwag nyo lang natin usapan niya kasi past is past and the future is future. So, yun nga. Now, let's start with more talk. And the usual opinion talk. We'll be right back after a short break. We are now actually this is now we are actually sponsored. This program is brought to you by Jor A Supermarket. Our supermarket, not mean. We are opening our new branch this time in North Korea. You see, Korea, let's go. Our supreme leader, Jor A Supermarket in North Korea. Our Supreme Leader Kim Jong Un loved the idea of a Jor A supermarket, so we established a branch in Pyongyang. I can't. I can't. We also have. We'll also launch Jor A supermarket. Ano ng Jor A supermarket? Chocolate Hills branch. Ano Chocolate Hills branch? We'll be protecting the the. We protect the our lands. Oh, wag natin walang ganyan, walang ganyan nang sa Jor A pre. Walang ganoon, hindi kami yung resort. Mm. Oh, question what's the longest ever show in the ABNG network? Ah uh, guys, Action News. 2022 pa lang nandiyan na yung Action News. Atibay pa rin yung Action News. Action news. Action and news. Longest... And morning sunrise ata. Ay morning sun. Basta spotlight yata yun. Yung morning show ng TBH rin. Oo. Meron yung ano. Meron din yung longest din sila. 2022 sila ni Lunsad. So medyo matagal-tagal na. Yeah. Now bakit, now, okay. bakit ko alam yun? Kasi alam ko lang. <laughs> Hindi. Uh, veteran ako. So alam ko yung alam ko yung pangyayari dun. Mga joggers. 
One and a half year na tayo, nagka-break pa tayo. Meron pa tayo yung plano. One and a half oh. year kami. What about mga joggers daw? What about mga one joggers? Year, one and a half year, guys. As I said, one and a half year ang mga joggers, which is from January January 2023 to today. What day is the new season? Abangan. Stay tuned. We can't tell you yet, but it's coming. Stay tuned for that. No, pero pinagsisend ni Jok yung... Kala ko is... Kala ko is... Kala ko is... Parigulado. Ililipat yan sa afternoon or no time slot yung... Ano? Yung... Itulaga. Yung program yan, itbulaga agad yan. Oo, oh, itbulaga yan agad. Oh. Wag mo na i-deny, joke yung, joke yung, wag mo na i-deny. Alam ko ang SBD, i-eri yun ang itbulaga. Kikita ka lang sa mata ko palang 2.30 agad. <laughs> sa promotional <laughs> campaign ng movie slot nyo, walang, walang 12. Wait lang, wait lang, wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Let me share some, ano. Ba't tapot na sa ilalim ng kotse yung ha? Yung pusa ko. <laughs> oh, ala! Ala! I mean it. No, 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 in... No, no, no. No, no, no. Sa sedan, pero... Ayan, okay na, okay na. Okay na? Unstable okay na? internet connection. <laughs> I can see, I can see, I can see Stefan's camera on on the stream. Uh, and my, on my, my computer. Yeah, we, I can see Stefan's camera on live, on, on, on the live stream. Sa akin, unstable. Okay, lapas ka pa. Lapas ka pa. Ayan. Oh, here it is. Miming. Sige, lapas ka pa. Nag-iilis ako ng, ng kotse. Pambihira ka. <laughs> lapas, lapas ka pa. Ayaw man na nangyari sa iyo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Siya pa yung pusa na umingi sa aking bubong. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Sige, go. Permission, go. 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 Give me that cat. Nakapatay, hello. Nakapatay na yung, ano, yung camera ko. Oh. Anyways, guys. Small request. Step that cat for me. Kapat lang galing sa GMA. Or scamming galing sa GMA rather. Oh, oh. Umiiri na yung sa brigada guys Ang tira brigada so, Tumira na kayo Pero mga kaibigan Isa, isa sa ating Ano dito is uh, Question po uh, Hindi po na, na Walang tumanong Walang nagtatanong is Ba't namin ni Lunsa dito I already answered it last time Pero I will repeat it uh, again Gusto lang namin mag-show sa umaga para lang trip lang namin. Bakit? Pakinyo ba? And besides, may cool news pa rin. Mamaya may cool news pa tayo mamaya. Si Aspir magsusolo dyan. Isusolo ni Aspir yan. Wala akong paki Aspir yeah. kung suffer ka Aspir. Basta matutulog na ako. Gusto ko na matulog. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are right. I'm going to Right well. Uh. Ano, I understand. Bagong development na yun sa fan-made community. Yeah. Uh, ang number one pong development na yun is ang NWC ilulunsad na po starting April 8. May mga bagong graphics kami. Just, Ay, that's uh, um, question, question Monday, right? Ito. Monday. Oh, this Monday, yes. Ah, uh, my question yung ano, my question, my question si... Wait, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean yung graphics? What do you mean yung graphics? What do you mean? We will be releasing our gray one ST Newswatch graphics in Monday, Tuesday. Ewan ko kailan pa namin matapos. Hintayin ko lang si ano. Oh, nice! Nice, nice, nice. Ay, ito, Stephen, my question si Bobo Kat sa pusa mo. Ano? Sabi ka? Mimi 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 mimi. Nakapatay na. 
I'm still wa- I'm still washing the car. Ano yan? What is it? What is it? Uh, ang question is Ming 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 Ako! Ano yung ginagamit? DJ yun! Ano ba ito naman? Hoy, hindi ako. Di forget na ako yun. Ako yung nagbabasal ako ng question eh. Hindi bigyan nung ano, nung, 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 nung nagtanong, nung, 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 nung binasa mo yung question. <laughs> Nauto ko na. Hindi <laughs> ka naman papakita ko sa camera. Nung natinatamad ako magbukas ng camera. Papasokoy ko muna sa loob ko. Guys, hindi ako maka Roblox. <laughs> ano niya, ano niya pa rin sa, ano niya pa rin sa, sa OS mo? Bad pa rin sa OS. Sa wine. <laughs> Question, nasaan ang actual host sa studio? Uh, it's me and Stephen. It's me and Stephen because Gio is not in a Roblox right now. Si Stephen nag, 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 ano, nag-wash ng car. Abang Ipa- na abang kayo. Okay, pre. Oh. Ipakita Wait, yung sexy, sexy wheel. Vroom, vroom, yes, yes. <laughs> Ayan, skibidi. Oh, skibidi ka dyan. <laughs> All right, magbabalik po ang Hello Pilipinas. Hello oh, Pilipinas. Tapos ng ilang palala. Ilang palala. We will be right back after these messages. Wag magbishin. All right, we're back to. Hello Pilipinas, as we know, the temperatures right now in the Philippines are excruciating hot. So, ano ba ang mga diskarte po ng mga Pilipino na yon? Well, sa unang-unan po, meron kong ad- abiso sa inyo lahat, mag-inom kayo ng tubig! Puro kayong soft drink, soft drink oh, oh, oh. yun dan. Puro kayo, puro kayo tayo abing root beer. <laughs> Magmuti na lang, mag-inom kayo ng root beer ni Terry B, okay pa naman nun. I think I think pwede naman yun, but, but water is essential. Water is essential, mga kaibigan. Of course. Always drink water. Always drink water. Pwede po mang aircon. Pero kung wala kayong aircon, electric pan, pero kung wala yung electric pan, bahala kayo dyan, magpaypay ng paypay sa'yo. Guys, I can use water soon. Magpaypay kayo, guys. Yan yung diskarte namin. Nung unang panahon na wala kami electric pan, pay-pay lang gamit namin. Ah. At isa pa, mas mabuti na lang kung sakaling itim ang t-shirt mo, which is very likely, oo. Paano ko masabi ito? Magsando na kayo para ma-expose ang katawan mo. Para maraming hangin papasok sa iyo para hindi ka malamal feeling malamig ka. And of course, always maligo kayo. Pero kahit mainit na 'yon, syempre dapat magkape rin kayo. Always always 'yan tradition talaga pag Pinoy, dapat kahit ma- kahit masyadong mainit, magkape pa rin. Nescafe po, of course, yung original classic. MX3 coffee. Okay, yeah. oh, pwede rin MX3. Kumakain, so, eto discarte ni Bobo Kat. Kumakain ako ng yellow kung meron sa Repsi Raul. <laughs> kumakain. Ano pa na? Ka-smart mo, baka brain freeze ang putik. <laughs> Talino mo. Ah. <laughs> Grabe ng discarte yan. Ako nga, il- uh, ako nga, lagay ko kaya mukha ko sa freezer para lalamig ako. Ganun lang yan. Ilagay mo sarili mo sa freezer, lalamig ka. <laughs> Eh, libreng aircon na hindi mo na alam. Mm. <laughs> Now, since masyadong mainit na yun sa Pilipinas, meron po akong mga abiso po sa lahat po ng tao. As always ko, kung lalabas kayo, always bring water kasi kailangan talaga yan. Kung mauhaw kayo, inom kayo, no matter what, of course, magpayong kayo! Mm-hmm! Yung tangang lalabas na walang payong, tas mainit pa, nakatayo lang. 
hindi ka nasa covered na place. Okay lang sana kung nakakalo ka pero wala pa rin. You are setting yourself to heat stroke. Just go. Naawa ko si <laughs> At isa pa nga, at oh, isa pa nga, huwag sige gastos sa kwan guys, sa mga walang kwentang bagay, kagaya ng so, ano, okay lang sana kung mag soft drinks lang kayo, pero huwag masyadong araw-arawin na kahit mainit na yun, dapat tubig lang kayo, ilimit nyo lang yung soft drinks nyo, baka makadiabetes pa kayo, tapos sisihin mo pa yung init dahil nakadiabetes, dahil sa, dahil sisihin mo yung, dahil, sisihin mo yung, ano, sisihin mo yung init dahil, naka, dahil dyan nakataba ka na umabot ka ng 5 kilos agad ay daw magdag ka ng 5 kilos at isa pa po kung sakaling kakain kayo sa, ay, kung sakaling kakain kayo if mala, if pwede kayo if possible pwede kayo mag order na lang pero kung hindi nyo kaya Pwede nyo na nang sigurong tiisin sa loob na lang kayo mangkain sa bahay kayo magkakain. Okay, sige, labas-labas din. Yun lang. Okay. Samantala po, patungkol sa Eat Showtime na i-airing mamaya sa GMA7 Kapuso. Ano ba ang reaksyon ng mga tape enjoyers dyan? What are what are their actions? Hmm. Including best yeah. feels. Oh boy. Malala si malala po si best feels eh. Siguro si Chito umiyak, si Terby umiyak. Ni <laughs> si Jokyo nakamukha ng eh. Hindi kasi makamove on si Chito at saka si Terby eh. Si ano, boy. Hey ma. Masaya was asked due to the financial issues. Wala eh, wala eh. Wala eh. Tumiyak sila dalawa, hindi sila makamove on. Ewan ko lang kung nasa nasa delayed time, delayed telecast pa rin yung equal agad. Kasi hindi sila, alam natin na hindi makamove on yan, yung dalawa. Oo eh, addict talaga yan sila dalawa. I mean, I mean, nagyan pa rin si Isko on the Check the Clock, the show. Oo nga eh. And speaking of Check the Clock, it's already being expanded to GTV, which I did not see that coming because originally, I have been saying that that Check the Clock should have been on GTV in the first place, but we now we're seeing Check the Clock coming to GTV, so it's a huge news too. Saimokas ng Saimokas ang GMA na walang kwenta naman ng Saimokas, Saimokas na yan. Mas, ma, ma, mas, la, mas lalo na sa Vortex 5 yung mga pointem shows. So it's becoming useless. Balik ng Harley, we are all thought Balik ng Harley will be moving to 12 noon but no. 10.30 pa rin pero reduced to 30 minutes. Galing talaga, tang ina. Ay mali, naging orange ako. <laughs> orange. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, wow. Ako po, yeah, wow. po, po si Orange nagmumura na walang kwenta. Ay ito po. Abangan niyo po sa isang music channel ang Eat Bulaga ng TGO Tigon. I mean TGON. Tigon. <laughs> Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting piece from Matrix Archives. He he said that DreamWorks are cartoon shows na pupunta na sa GMA. Wow, crazy, mind blowing, no way, very informational. Let's not pay import makolods. Pero eh, pero yung pero yung guys. Uh, tinanggal po namin ang SBS, yung network ni Studio 48. Kasi puro simping network ng MNL 48 yan eh. At saka GTK 48. Tanggal namin. Wala namang po sa place na Teka, teka, teka. Susunod guys, abangan nyo. Tanggalin na namin ang GBD. 
Wow, let's go. Also, I, I, I was gonna say about regarding SPS, not SPS from Korea, but SPS here. It's, it's just the same thing for ML48 or uh, rather AKB48. And even even so, with the Holy Week programming, they were caught airing uh, the mo Indonesian movie without subtitles, which is embarrassing. No subtitles, not even Filipino or English. Nothing. I don't know. I was installing voice mod. Sabi do do. Oh. Sabi do do. Sabi do do. Holy week programming. Tapos may programming ng ML and ng GTK about sa Ramadan. Inere pa sa Holy week. Pero walang subtitles. Ah, yan ang problema. Yeah. Walang subtitles. Subtitles na wala. Walang subtitles. Philippine viewers, just call. Hello, ha, no, Harry Pop sa GMA. Even with the even with the run, the Running Man Running Man show, the original Running Man show, may pa rin subtitles. Oh, pero SBS wala. <laughs> Paano mo pa like you got like do you, you do you do you know how to translate? Like it like it's not it, it's not even that hard. Kaya ka yung isang kinilet na magical TV na 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 unlicensed na yung ano yung 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 Disney Junior na tapos may magical TV pa same same owner yun na same owner yun by the way may may subtitles pa rin sa isang show niya na K-pop oh ah tapos yung events ng Indonesian TV inire pa sa pinas walang subtitle na loko na na loko na ano Indonesian karen sa you from Antebe? Oh, 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 So, ito yung lesson po. Dapat may subtitle kayo. Kahit, 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 yan lang, o. Oh. Of course, IYTS update, tanggal na po ang network ni Studio 48 doon. Ooh. Oh, boy. Yung frequency niya na Channel 48, ibabalik sa original na owner. I'm so happy. <laughs> Ibig sabihin niya Maybe. ang network, okay, ito yung mga network, ito po yung networks na aalis. Okay, wait lang, hanapin ko yun, yung, yung ping met. Oh, yung yung, yung, yung listahan sa IYTS, right? Lista sa IYTS, right? Yes, yes. That, yes, that is correct. Um, wait lang. Teka lang, uh, hanapin ko yung nakapin. Okay, tanggal na po ang... MNL48 network yung SBS tanggal na actually ibig sabihin niya ng S ang tatanggalin is Anniverse SBC Indonesia at Terebi TV4 ay itatanggal po sa Indonesia dahil po sa pagsasara po ng ng Channel 48 sa IYTS. Aha. Uh -huh. Ito ay alin sunod po sa mga actions po na ginawa po ni Studio 48 sa isang miyembro po ng isang miyembro ng IYTS na well respected naman actually well respected talaga siya sa sobrang respected ako pa nga na pa respect ko sa kanya which is ganoon talaga ganoon talaga pero nang away sila eh kasi sabi daw sa ang argument man daw is and this is true ha nag away sila dahil Uh, gusto lang ng gusto lang ng isang member na wag na siya puro sabi ng eh, wag na siya puro ano na MNL48 MNL48 na content content noon o tingnan tuloy puro MNL48 Kaya ganun All right Kaya guys okay. it's a lesson for all <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, I like the yes. It's complicated if I'm gonna be honest because you need to buy. Okay, 
Indonesia is a very conservative country and you need to know which program you're going to bring that will suit well for Indonesians too. Yun nga. Kaya hirap talaga maggawa ng programming. Actually nga, yung Pepito Manoloto ko doon eh. Nakadub, ay, ano lang siya, naka-subtitle na siya which is okay enough na. Pero alam mo nangyari, si Studio 4 eh, wala lang, walang subtitle. Baka area ng mga joggers yan tapos in, walang walang dub. Mga joggers na sa Pilipinas in Indonesia pero walang subtitles or dub. Yun ya, okay. It's now 8:25. Cool news poll with Aspir will start in 5 4 3 2 and 1. All right. Okay, yeah, oh, okay. So Jim is here in the moment. So I take it yeah, wait. I think he's, he's gone for a while. Okay, so yeah, geometry is AFK. So, yeah. All right, so Stephen, uh, what are we going to do next uh, while while Gio's away? And so be- we before, only have before before we proceed. Well, by the way, uh, additional news for uh, everyone. Uh, st- oh uh, yeah, we, 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 we have two channels. We have two channels uh, l- launching this this week on able on Abel Media. Um, The, the last to complete on the digital TV lineup is Musicultura. It's a ito ito isang bagong ano, bagong television channel ng sa pagkikipagtulungan ng TVH Group of Networks. Hmm. So what are the new networks so far? Ay, nawala naman ako, nawala ako. Okay. Okay. So, cultural, TV, okay. TV, TVH Group of Networks, Cultural Center of the Philippines, National Cultural, uh, National Commission for Culture and the Arts, um, and, and then, and then, uh, you NC, you National Historical Commission of the Philippines, and of course, ayon ayon, tapos uh, mm. tapos yung kay Foden Fan Group of Companies, you for for allowing us to use the. the archives of the cool theater na ginaganap ang mga um, ang mga, ang mga orchestral concerts noon and then and then some of the um, universities katulad ng, ng UST and UP Diliman for for collaborating with with us sa, sa bagong uh, which, is, um. which, which involves the the content of Philippine culture y- yung Philippine culture and history at ang uh, yung mga uh, iba't ibang classical music na hindi hindi lang sa Pilipinas yung mga national artists natin national artists for music meron din meron din ano well, we all, we will also feature classical music na yung galing sa ibang bansa the, the famous Beethoven Chopin kay ano kay, ano, kay Mozart And and yung mga ano yung mga unsung heroes ng classical ng music we will we will be featuring that sa uh, this uh, this launch ng ng channel na ito. It's it, it is 24 it is 24/7 sa sa able sa, sa player app and then sa mga digital TV TV stations nationwide fictional digital digital TV stations. Uh, kasab kasabay kasabay dito is Morning Star Radios. Um, Spirit plus word television. Yan, yan yung yan yung magiging um, bagong na hindi lang hindi lang sa Pilipinas but it is also a it is also now a Christian family television brand in Southeast in select Southeast Asian countries including Indonesia, Singapore, Th- Thailand and Malaysia. If uh, sa sa Indonesia meron no eh nakipag Kinausap ko si IYTS noon sa ano sa I can also swap ko si 348 sa IYTS uh, for the block time. I don't know who, whoever handles the uh, spirit plus word right now. Pero pero may pero merong MSRI sa it's Indonesia. Kung, kung kung wala sa cable, kung wala kung wala sa free to air, menos meron as a cable provider. Uh it, yung sa bag, isa bagong ano sa rebranded na Pinoy Gospel TV. Yan yung yan yung para Yeah, that will we will be airing F, some shows from FABC Philippines, including Hardin na Panalangin, Oras ng Pilipinas, and then other programs, other Christian programs. Pero yung mga 
programs na produced in the Philippines na will, st will stay only in the Philippine counterpart at wala sa ibang mga uh, other countries. May mga locally produced sila na, na mga Christian programs doon. And yeah, we were grateful for the for the developments ng Morning Star Radio. Kasabay pa niya ng, ng Cornerstone FM and then uh, the Master's Voice. Yung sa mga dalawang official countries na umay na umere. Ayun lang. So that's it? Hmm. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah. I think, wait, number. All right. So, when did, when oh, yeah, did they... I almost, I'm almost, all right, I almost forgot. Uh, Spirit World is launching today, right? Yeah, it is launching today. So they already replaced uh, Pinoy Gospel, if I remember correctly, is it right? Yeah, I think uh, um, same same programming uh, line up, pero binago lang pangalan because we are focusing on the global um, evangelism of television. Ah, well, all right, that's nice. Okay, so uh, let's continue with opinion section, but this time this is going to be focused on technology. I don't know if you are familiar with technology, but anyway, so. What's your opinion on Windows? Marapit lamang na mga balita po. Umuulan na yan sa Jensen. Oh, okay. Jika <laughs> back. Okay, so... Miracle. Okay. Miracle na yun. Okay, anyway. So, uh, what's your opinion on Windows Code Plot? Let's start with Stefan. With, wind with Windows... Code Plot, yes. Code Plot. Copilot, co Copilot. Uh, oh, pilot. Yes, pilot. That's correct. I, I'm, I'm, currently, I'm currently I'm using it. I I was using I was using that few days ago for um, uh, on the web on the web browser. But as of uh, on the desk on the in the desktop, I haven't used it yet. But 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 uh, the API uh, it it does the same. Uh, yeah, parang na reform na na reformat lang ano, na na Microsoft being AI na, na may bagong data na 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 learn sa AI. Ah, na, so what what do you think so far? Is it or what the feature wise? Is it uh, is it is it uh, proven to be productive? Okay, okay naman. So uh, ano? Uh, yung yung sa code sa coding, I think it. Uh, yung sa coding help, I think it. Uh, it benefited me a lot. Pero yung sa ano, in some AI generation ano, images, may, may mga biases lang talaga sila. Just like Gemini. Um, kapag sila, <laughs> kapag ano, kapag sila, parang, parang kay Elon Musk na AI, na AI if parang Africa, African-American, tapos magiging black yung itsura niya. <laughs> Nalo, okay, ano. now pass to Geo. Alright, now to Geo. I don't know. Useless. Geo? Useless. <laughs> basura basurang dapat ilagay sa basurahan bloatware bloatware pre bloatware na ito ba coming Blockware. from linux i believe copilot is a stupid piece of shit useless because you know why they they are forcing us to have a new keyboard button for copilot but you know what the purpose of that is Zero. It's gonna become a new sudo. It's gonna be the new control button. <laughs> oh man. I mean, yeah, I think it's like Microsoft is heavily promoting Microsoft Code Plot for real. Like, they're pushing users to you know, invite them to get into Code Plot as many as they want. Pretty much. They just put Microsoft is just pushing people to use it. Useless lang din kasi alam niyo bakit? Alam niyo bakit? Yes, pinipilit yeah. niyo sa keyboard, sa keyboard tayo. Oo, sa keyboard pala. Kasi mo pindutin naglalaro ko na isang laro tapos pinindot mo yung copilot key. Useless. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, now next one. Let's move on to the next one. Dapat tanggalin yan, Microsoft. Pag hindi mo tanggal yan, boboycott ako. Ito <laughs> 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 na kami ng Windows. 
<laughs> okay, now moving on. Ah. Okay, so hey, uh, last opinion of this opinion, guys. Uh, uh oh, I don't know. I can't, I can't think about it, but let me look for it right now. What to say? What's your uh, opinion? Go what what sorry go ahead. What's your opinion on the on SBD T J O N and Terbi T B Simokas S M N I? Number one for number one for SBD X T J O N. Very good. It's finally happening. Yung yung ano yung yung wait 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 yung yung ano ng SBD employees that was posted by. By DJCCN. Well, you guessed it. SPD XDGON is finally happening. Let's hear this. SPDXDGON. <laughs> Magatan yan. Number two for Therapy TV simulcasting SMNI. Eh, ah, no. Oh, I can say I can't say about that, but good for them, I guess. I don't good for them. Bad for them na agad yan. Uh, SM na yun. Ah, uh, uh, I own a man, but I really can't say about that. But uh, well, I guess. But now, Mr. Stephen, uh, your turn. Trap. <laughs> Telefocus X S M N I parin. Just 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 I I pulled the trigger. I'm sorry. Pero sige. Speaking of S P D X T J O N. Mangi. Yeah, let's start with S P D X T J O N. Mangi yari. Mangi yari yan pre. Mangi yari yan. Alam ko na kamo ba niya? Pero si Charlie at si Chito kay T J O N member pa yun na wala. Alam tama siya to sa schedule palang. Obvious naman yun. Kasi walang alas 12 sa kanila eh. Okay, next. About yung telefoco sa inyo. Terbi TV XTG at Jo and Toloy SMNI. What can you say about it? Um uh, wala. Go again? Sorry. Wala, wala. Okay, yan na. Okay. okay. Now 8:46 ng umaga. Hello, Filipinas. We'll be right back. We'll be right back after these messages. We will be back. And now we're back to Hello Filipinas, but this today is actually a historic day for today, a historic day for television. Because starting today, each showtime is expected to air and officially to GMA 7's flagship channel, which is of course GMA, of course. This is after the contract signing of a of ABS-CBN's ABS-CBN Studios and ex, uh, of course the executives of ABS and GMA and of course due to the fact that as of this moment yesterday and after the after the shutdown of Tahanan Pinakamasaya that GMA has essentially has no noontime show This moment is by far the biggest in television history. If sinabi nyo yan noong 2019 na magkokolab ang ABS at GMA sa Showtime, tawagan kang buang. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, huwag nyong imiss ang 2023 saga. This is a historic moment for television. And I believe... And I believe that everyone should know this. 
this historic moment will forever be remembered in history of the Philippines. Yes. Philippines. yes. It's now 8.55. We only have five minutes after our final after our final hour, uh, final minutes. Thank you very much for sticking with us on Cool FM. See you all tomorrow. And as always, hello, Filipino. Continue to serve the people. Yes. But before we are done, we will be ending the show at night. But in the meantime, let's finish our stop, discuss, stop discussion. So, yeah. But yeah, at 9 o'clock, that was now. So, okay. So, last question. Uh, Stephen, Mr. Stephen, what can we expect with a spirit uh, plus word gospel in the future? And, um, as, al as always, we will, we, we, we will, we will use this fan-made telev television channel to proclaim to proclaim the gospel, and uh, and of course, um, uh, to to have a proper and and reasonable critical thinking on 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 world on through a Christian world worldview. Uh, equip, equipping you, equip, equipping users to, to um, sal on learning about salvation and then, uh, and then apologetics. At the same time, uh, Spirit Plus Word is also aiming for, since since the three uh, since since Spirit Plus Word has three R's, uh, restoration, the, um, the knowing Jesus Christ as 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 our Lord and Savior, uh, acknowledging his the, the the life and death and resurrection. Reformation, the, um, the, uh, what, what, what can, what can, what can we contribute as a church, um, and how, and, and uh, the, the purity of doctrine and revive and third revival, um, pray, um, that, that, that we care for the loss and we and, and, and also, and also prayer, which is which is the, also close to to the television channel and MSRI's uh, chord values. Ah, that's cool. And and finally, about the classical uh, channel that is stated for PTON, what are the future plans as well, aside from the initial launch? Mostly um, cultura, yeah. Um, uh, we, uh, there are... There are unreleased archives from from TG, TVH group of networks who have classical piece, pieces. We will, we will have we will have them on air for for on free on free to air in in all able media digital TV stations, and and then the, and then we will also air the some old plays from Tanghal from Tanghal and Pilipino. The uh, kasama dito kasama dito yung ano. Um, Walang sugat, yung ano, walang sugat play, the, 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 that was also produced by Cultural Center of the Philippines, and uh, the, the the this and uh, the another play that about Lapu Lapu that was first performed on Metropolitan Theater. We will also air that as well, and then the past concerts under cultural under Cultural Center of. Mm hmm. Okay, so, all right, so I think that will wrap it up. But again, as we promised, we will be back with more with with uh, another episode of Hello Filipinas tomorrow. So look forward to that. And I thank all of the viewers who are joining with us today and for for supporting us throughout this our very first plot episode of Hello Filipinas. Okay, so with that, that that wraps it up for today of Hello Filipinas. Uh, once again, we will return tomorrow at the same time right here on 99.5 Cool FM. With that, I am Asphere. I'm Geometric. I am, See you and all. I, and tomorrow. I am Stephen Liwana Del Sol, a.k.a. Yeah. The Manila Song Haven. And makita kita tayo bukas. Ito ang Hello, Pilipinas. Hello, Pilipinas. Hello. I'll see you all yeah. tomorrow. Have fun, guys, and good morning. Good, good. good. Good morning, Enjoy the rest of your mornings, everyone. Bye bye. Morning, bye bye.